pictures. And among them, I would like to show you some important things. Um, one of them is a negative investment list. Uh, if one of you has known something about uh, China's enterprise registration process, then you know that when you get the list in, in the past, the government will list what you can do and what you cannot. It will list a lot of things. But now in Shanghai Free Trade Zone, they adopt a negative investment list. What does it mean? It means that they will list the forbidden areas of uh, what you cannot do. It means that if something doesn't show on the list, it means you can do. So there's a very, very big difference than control the situation before. And also for the negative list, um, anything outside of the list will be allowed and doesn't need government approval. Uh, for example, um, the following industries are forbidden. Internet cafes, gambling, and for uh, approved the list, and that's not allowed, uh, also including media. Um, what are the changes for foreign investment uh, administration? Um, foreign investors will enjoy a pre-establishment national treatment in the FTZ. That means that for the foreigners, so it's fair to the foreigners to do investment in FTZ and it's fair to foreigners and also the local people in China. Uh, what are the changes for foreign investment administration? Uh, previously, foreign investors have to prepare a feasible labor report, again, ministry of rule, and you know the process is very complex. But now that we can see from the new policy for FTZ, um, can you imagine the uh, whole shot if you want to register a company in FTZ, how short? It lasted maybe around one month, 29 days, but now only in four days. And also that is a very big difference than before. And in addition, uh, I would like to show you another uh, main difference than before. Uh, in the bonded area, we know that uh, you can get uh, uh, no tax or other policies, but here in FTZ, now we have the financial innovations. Oh, what is financial innovation? We know here that in FTZ, we have the pilot and test of RMB capital account convertibility. And the liberation of interest rates on the financial market, as well as the cross-border use of the RMB. And also we have the offshore financial services. Uh, because we know that in China now, the interest rates are controlled by the central, <coughs> central bank. And they must float the interest rate according to the benchmark by the central uh, by the central bank so now it's a large a difference that they can they can do the liberation of interest rates. And also for the FTZ we expand the opening up of the service industry. What domains will uh, touch on and maybe think that not only for the uh, trade of goods but also finance, shipping, uh, culture and society services, uh, they will also get more policies and bonus from the Shanghai Free Trade Zone. And another the main point is convertible RMB capital account. And we know RMB is convertible on current accounts but not on capital accounts. Uh, so how to 
uh, they forget the win that we had did. Convert RMB to US dollars. From tourism purpose, that you, you know that it's open on current accounts, but you know it cannot do this with the aim of financial investment. And now that in the FTZ, you can freely convert RMB into invest in any markets such as buying stocks in foreign countries. And it is a large difference from the past because now every year, you know, everybody can only exchange uh, 50,000 US uh, dollars every year. But now if in FTZ that is convertible of RMB and so not only for current accounts but also capital accounts means Chinese people can invest and in any market such as buying stocks in United States or in EU. Uh, what is the interest rate liberation? I uh, just mentioned that Chinese banks can only raise 10% of the rate based on the benchmark. The interest rate liberation will cancel the benchmark interest rate and let the market decide the rate. Just like I mentioned, the, the government will let the market become the main decision instead of government control. And also, offshore financial business Offshore financial business will specialize in providing corporate and commercial services to non-resident offshore companies, as well as oversees the investment of sh offshore funds. Um, there's also a very big, uh, huge uh, difference from the past. Um, but details are not issued. Uh, this is the plan, but without details now. Uh, how about the current op operation uh, after it operates two months? You can see that in the, the zone has established more than 1,400 enterprises registered. And also, 26% uh, are in the service sectors. And the zone is very popular among financial agencies and the services sector uh, projects. Uh, we can see that for the registered capital, capital, you know, the largest is 5 billion RMB and the lowest only 30,000 RMB. And the 1 RMB, um, 6 RMB equals $1 according to the current exchange rate. So uh, more and more investors, they can get opportunities in the free trade zone. And potential future, uh, some would like to compare it to Hong Kong because uh, in China, that yeah, is the first uh, FTZ in mainline, and they like to compare it with Hong Kong. And maybe in the future, that yeah, they will have different special areas. And also, other areas okay, from China, they are applying want to become the next freight trade zone. But this is a pilot, so we can see more uh, in the future maybe, but it is hard to say. And uh, okay, and that's all the brief introduction of, of my discussion topic. Thank you, Mr.